Hey everyone, this is Matt. This is a, another edition of Simplistic Takes with Matt. And this time it's a little late, you know, Halloween season has come and gone. Now we are fully entrenched in the fall weather. But one thing I wanted to talk about, and it was something I wanted to talk about after it already got done, and I didn't want to go episode by episode, was the first real great, uh, and people might argue with me about this, of course, um, TV show on the streaming network Shudder, and that one is the TV version of the beloved or maligned, depending on whether you saw Creep Show three or not. Uh, and I guess I gave it away right there. Creep Show, the TV series on Shudder. Now this has already been picked up for season two, so it'll be interesting to see what they come up with uh, next year for 2020. But I really enjoyed the shit out of this TV show. I, had my reservations, especially coming off something as horrid as Creepshow 3, which is just an abomination to the horror genre in a lot of ways. And I apologize to anybody who worked on it because it sucked. It just was not good. But a lot of people hate Creepshow 2 also, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so six episodes that ran basically from the end of September all the way up until Halloween night, or if you saw the tweet, you got to watch the final episode of Creep Show on Halloween Eve, which was a lot of fun too. And series really didn't uh, have a lot of letdowns. There were a few kind of hits and misses uh, within the 12 stories since every episode had two stories per episode. So they ranged everywhere from werewolves to, I mean, everything else in between. You have werewolves, you had skin crawly type things. So just kind of going down the list of what you had for the episodes. Plus you had a lot of uh, adaptations from other people's work. So you had everything from a Stephen King adaptation, Grey Matter. Uh, then you had The House of the Hand, uh, Bad Wolf Down, The Finger, All Hallows Eve, Lydia Lane's Better Half, The Companion, The Man in the Suitcase, Night of the Paw, Tough Times, and Musky Holler, which I think was probably the best title of the entire series, uh, or this season at least, uh, Sk- Skin Crawlers. That has uh, writing uh, credit to Paul Dini, who people might know as the creator of Harley Quinn and did a lot of work on Batman in the animated series as well. And the final episode was By the Silver Water of Lake Champlain, the longest title <laughs> out of all the uh, episodes. Um, but yeah, they range from everything from kind of creature feature type stuff to science gone wrong to be careful what you wish for type stuff. Uh, And a lot of people, of course, came back to help in the making of these episodes. You had everybody from John Harrison, who did the music for the first Creepshow film and also directed Tales from the Dark Side, the movie. And he directed, I think, three or four of the episodes, uh, one of which was, I would say, my favorite episode of the entire season. It also had the most kind of heartfelt kind of thing to it as well. The Oh Hollows Eve episode, which I thought was an excellent, excellent episode. Uh, almost, you know, it was, it was, it was a tearjerker too. It was, it was, it was a sad little story, but, uh, done very, very well. Um, and then he had Tom Savini directing the final segment of the, of the season that was, uh, by the Silver Lake of Lake Champlain that had a lot to do with, uh, Chappie. And if people know who Chappie is, if you're living in the main area, the Vermont area on uh, Lake Champlain, there's the story of, you know, the, um, the Lake Champlain monster. So basically a take on the Loch Ness monster. Um, and you had, there was a lot of good episodes. I mean, they brought the gore back. They brought the, you know, uh, actual physical effects back, you know, uh, the, you know, not a lot, not a lot of like really SFX in it, which I thought was really great or not a lot of fake blood or this, but there were some gory ones. There were some, you know, very, very low key ones, but overall series definitely lived up to it. Uh, Greg Nicotero cares about this um, series, this uh, concept of Creepshow, you know, considering he worked on Creepshow too, he's got the chops for it as well. Um, Overall, just a good series that, you know, it's worth the price of admission for Shudder. I think Shudder is only about five bucks a month. I mean, net alone makes it worth it five bucks a month. And, you know, of course, the Joe Bob Briggs stuff, but that's a whole nother conversation for another time. But, from ranking kind of episodes from the series. I'm just going to go best episode to kind of worst episode. I'd definitely say All Hallows Eve was the top top of my pops, at least. 
I thought it was very expertly done. You kind of saw what was going, which is for a lot of these episodes, you know what's going to happen. If you know anything about Creep Show or how this the, the stories work, you know what's going to happen to the bad person. You know, it's like a Grimm's fairy tale, basically. And the most disappointing or the most just lackluster was probably Bad Wolf Down. It just was not a very good episode. It wasn't very compelling. It was kind of boring. I mean, it's always great to see Nazis get killed, which is fine with me. Uh, but overall, just kind of a... Yeah, it had Jeffrey Combs, and I like Jeffrey Combs. He's he's great in Reanimator and a lot of other, you know, H.P. Lovecraft adaptations or Brian Yuzuna uh, uh, stuff. But just his German accent was pretty atrocious, and I don't also. I, I guess I could see him as a German or a Nazi, but uh, just one of these episodes that just didn't really quite hit the uh, what you really needed from Creep Show. But I guess you have to throw. Um, that episode in there just to kind of liven things up. Uh, probably mo- mo- one of the more surprising or fun ones was uh, Tough Times in Musky Holler. Uh, it was a fun one. It was also the shortest, I believe it was the shortest episode or shortest segment of the entire uh, se- uh, season as well, too. Um, lots of fun. I had David Arquette in it, his weird police guy. And it was a fun episode, very post-apocalyptic feeling as well. Um, but that was a that was a pretty fun one. I, I enjoyed it. it. Had good gore, really good gore. The gore actually reminded me a lot of the Father's Day segment from Creepshow One with the um, kind of monsters in it. But that's all I'll kind of say about that. I won't uh, spoil that episode. And a lot of good throwbacks to uh, to Creepshow Two. Just the art style, of course, the comic book transitions. Even a lot of the the music was was one thing that I kind of. Eh, I didn't enjoy the music as much as I wanted to. Tyler Bates does a fine job uh, kind of doing what... I mean, I wish you guys would have John Harrison do the music. Uh, I mean, it it worked in Creepshow 1. I want that 80s synth, you know, piano stuff, and I didn't get that. I got this... a few allusions to it here and there in a few episodes, but this overall lacking any kind of heart, which for me, Creepshow, the most memorable moments were the squeals of the synth and the, the kind of the jump scare type elements and you know it, w- it was lacking that so maybe they'll do something different for the music I doubt they will because they have they have their new theme song they have Tyler Bates who's going to do the music going forward so you're you're stuck with this music that I don't like but I'm sure other people like it and enjoy it so but yeah that's Creep Show, the TV series it's a fun time definitely worth it Every episode is about 42 to 44 minutes, give and take, give or take a couple minutes, but all pretty strong stories, a few stinkers here and there, but overall giving it two thumbs up, two thumbs up. Uh, really enjoyed it. Worth checking Shutter out at least for a month and then sticking around and probably just having it be a charge in your in the background of your bank statement that you won't even realize because that's kind of what it is for me most of the time. <laughs> So that's it for this simplistic take from Matt. We'll be back with another one. I'm cooking up something else, and I'm thinking I'm probably going to be doing a take pretty soon, too. It will be probably more on the movie side, but who knows? It might be on the TV side, too. So as we it, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel you're watching right now or listen to the podcast or go to the website to read some reviews wherever we're all over the Internet. And we will see you next time for another video. So stay spooky.